ओके सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट एपी सीरीज सो बट बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग विद द टू डेज कंटेंट सो लेट्स डू ए क्यूक रिविजन बट वी हैव लाइक कवर टिल सो वी हैव कवर्ड लाइक इलेवन वीडियो वी हैव कवर्ड कंप्लीटेड इलेवन वीडियोज टिल नाउ so in the first video like uh, we created a very basic application so we see how to run a very basic fast api application how to set the metadata how to set and set the documentation and how, how to run the fast api in the second video so what we did is we created one configuration file and we uh, rather than hard coding the metadata information within the main application file we will like uh, provided those metadata uh, information to the configuration file in the third video like uh, we like define some uh, database variable that is username password port number right so into the configuration file then we connected with the postgres sql database using the sql alchemy so we see how to create the engine how to create a session then we will see how to co connect with the sql database then we will see like how to create the table so using the models so uh, um, in the sql alchemy like we created the tables in the form of classes only so we define the structure in the form of classes only and automatically it get created so we created two tables user and item and set the relationship then we have to insert the data but before inserting the data whatever the data user will enter we have to check the data whether the user has enter correct data or not so to so to perform data validation we are using the pydentic schema then we see that dependency injection like what is dependent uh, dependency injection so dependency injection is basically the term so using the same api we can like uh, insert the data into the uh, production database and we uh, we can insert the data into the test database then we could see like uh, before storing the password into the database so we see we have to do the hashing so we use the pass lib pass lib module and we perform the hashing then we created our first user endpoint and we inserted the data and rather than defining the uh, like endpoint into the main.py file what we do is we will uh, like uh, create a one uh, folder uh, router folder and under the router folder we defined uh, all our routes using the api router uh, method or class so api router uh, class is basically a mini uh, framework mini version of the class api then we see like in the response we are getting unnecessary information like id and uh, other unnecessary information so how to hide the unnecessary information into the response so by passing the response model argument in the path so we can hide the information then we see how to test the fast api application so using the pytest framework and the test api client like uh, we tested the fast api application but in this last video like when we test the application so what what uh, it is doing so, so let's put this is our flow so when we are doing the testing of our application it is inserting the data into the production database but during testing we want the data should be inserted into the test test database so what uh, we will see the same code uh, which we have designed but we will modify it it a little bit so that like uh, uh, when when we run the test cases it will run the it will insert the data into the test database but when we actually run the application it will like use the production database okay so let me close this so basically like uh, this is the uh, official uh, documentation testing and database and it is like uh, covered un under the advanced topics under the advanced user guide but uh, like uh, why why i am covering like uh, this topic because uh, we already see how to like uh, uh, perform a testing in the fast api application so a, a very minute change changes are required only and uh, everything will be the remain same so that's why like uh, i thought of okay let's let's cover this topic as well testing a database so let me first activate the environment environment has been activated so we created test folder and uh, yesterday what we did is we created uh, this route test user.py route and we have like a uh, uh, define our test case like we are like uh, using the client uh, a test client is basically like same as of uh, response uh, uh, request library so using the you can say request library we are like hitting the url 
and whatever the response will we get we are like uh, validating it but here uh, like uh, automatically like because we are importing the um, um, app uh, like uh, object from the main and uh, uh, this app like uh, has the connection with our production database so it will like accessing the production uh, uh, production database or you can say postgres sql database but how to like uh, do the uh, testing like insert like while testing we want the data should be inserted into the testing database and as part of the testing database we will use the sql light database so oh, what happened so what we will do like uh, we will first like uh, define the database okay what database like uh, we want we we want okay so let's define the database so sql alchemy data base url so uh, for the testing purpose uh, we want the sql uh, sql database so sql three slashes dot and let do make it test db okay so SQL alchemy database URL has been like uh, defined. Now we have to connect our engine with the test database. So first we like import import the uh, create engine uh, from the SQL alchemy from SQL alchemy import create engine. So we will create an engine. So engine is equal to create engine because this time like a uh, database is different so we have to like uh, create a connection with this database as well sql alchemy database url and we know like uh, we have to pass uh, one extra argument that is the connect args and under the connect arg what is the check same thread and it should be false okay so we have like uh, created a engine so next thing is we have to create a session so let's create a session from sql alchemy dot orm import session maker so uh, let's create a session as well so session local is equal to session maker auto commit auto commit auto commit is equal to false auto flush is equal to false and bind is equal to engine so we are binding the particular uh, session with the like uh, engine so rather than the session uh, uh, local we will use the testing session local because session local like uh, uh, keyword like we are already using for the production uh, session now we have the like uh, session local uh, is available right so like first we have to like uh, okay so th uh, these things are like uh, ready uh, with us now what we have to do we have to uh, now okay so we have to create the tables into the like uh, because now it is a different database so what we want say like uh, it will like read the metadata and it will like uh, create the uh, table so the base dot metadata dot create all bind is equal to engine so whenever test will be run the table should be should created so we have to import the base class so from database import base okay so we have like uh, created the base class and now like uh, we created one uh, like uh, get db function so we have to import it to the get db function as well and we will like override this get db function because uh, let me show you nano database nano database .py. so we created this uh, like uh, get db function and uh, we created this uh, why have we created this get db function because like otherwise we are doing nothing in this we are just creating a session right so like session 
this session is basically a session class so we are like creating a object of the particular session class so we are creating a object of the particular session class so rather than like defining all this thing in a function we can just add one one extra line here but because we have to use the dependency injection for our uh, testing purpose uh, so that like this session like db is a particular session so this session is for the production database now we have to override the particular session so that we have to create a separate session for the testing database so we have to override this function so what we will do is so we will like uh, create a function over ride get db and perform everything same try uh, so what is the function name uh, try and uh, db now we will create the a uh, like uh, object of the testing session all right and uh, then uh, finally db dot close and here we have to return the db as well so yield basically it is a generator now we have like created a like uh, a override function but like we have imported this get db so we have to override this get db so there is a just one line app dot dependency overrides what we have to override get db and by which function we have to override override get db so now red like whatever the get db like uh, we are calling from there rather than using that get db it will use this get db because we uh, have override this uh, get db with 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 our get db rest everything will be the remain same so our uh, like uh, test case is ready so let's run that clear pi test minus b okay so base has no attribute metadata okay metadata so i uh, there is a one spelling error is dot metadata okay fast api object has no attribute uh, dependency dependency okay there is a spelling mistake again dependency so our testing has been run and our uh, like test case has been pass, uh, passed so let uh, let's do one thing so this is like a sqlite we have sqlite browser just to like uh, browse the sqlite database so what is our like uh, we like we uh, like uh, we have created a, like test.db right so test.db has been created and let's see whether the data has been inserted or not so there are two tables created if we browse the data and if we browse the data for the user table so data has been inserted and the same data we have inserted test user one at the rate test.com so let me show you cd tests nano test user so we are using the test user one at the rate test.com uh, test right so we have like just modified our test uh, like uh, test case uh, this these things will be the remain same so everything will be the remain same top top thing will be the remain same like we have not changed anything so everything will be the remain same um, okay we have to use some another uh, database so we have to like uh, define uh, the other database if we define other database we have to like uh, uh, set is uh, set a connection with them and for, we have to create a one session so we are creating a session but we are creating a session into the get db function so we we just like uh, override uh, our uh, get db function okay so our like uh, test has been like uh, ready 
but uh, like if we i if i like uh, if uh, if i rerun this test case it will fail because it says that like test user one like uh, uh, user has already been uh, inserted so what we will do is whenever the database will be close i will drop all the database base dot metadata dot drop all okay so it will like uh, create a database it will run the test and it will then uh, drop a uh, drop the database or rather than here what we can do is we can write uh, first this command metadata dot drop all so that uh, whenever like uh, we run our test case it should like uh, run from uh, scratch so let's see if it work oh, again we did some spelling mistake so it has been passed but if we check that uh, uh, table so let me close this and let me open this so table should not exist because it should be dropped table exists ok we have to drop the database uh, like uh, at the end of the testing as well so either you can drop the database at the end of the testing or either you can drop the database like uh, in the start of the testing because if I rerun our test case Pytest dot minus v. Again, it will like uh, run, and the data will be the remain same. Because what we are doing is we are like uh, dropping the database and then like uh, uh, creating it. Okay, so we have uh, like uh, covered this topic as well. So if you like go through this documentation, uh, so whatever I have told you, everything will be the remain same. So they told that we have to create a new database session because now we have the testing database. So we have to create a new like a uh, uh, database session. So how to create a session? So first we have to create an engine and then we create a uh, like session class and then we create a session. But the session is like we are creating into the override get DB uh, like uh, a in a function and we will override uh, the get DB using the dependency override. Rest everything, everything will be the remain same okay yeah so everything we everything is remission so so we have like uh, covered this topic as well so thank you